guys, I'm back with another video. Yay! Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna try to be really quick because the battery is almost gonna run out. But we are going to do the cerebral palsy tag. And I did not know until last night that this was such a thing. So I know I'm late to the party, but here we go. So there's only 10 questions. So I'm gonna try to be as precise as I can be. Question number one. What kind of cerebral palsy do you have? I have spastic quadriplegic cerebral palsy. Um, simply means that I was all four of my limbs are affected. And that's why I have a wheelchair. Question number two is, how did you get cerebral palsy? I got it from birth. It happened while I was in utero, which means just in my mom's stomach. So it wasn't anything too bad. I mean, I was just born with it. Number three. Oh, the questions are on my phone. Um, so if you see me looking down, and I have my tape linked. So that is why I'm looking down. Number three is, how did you feel about cerebral palsy growing up? I mean, I knew I was always different. And thought uh, for obvious reasons. Um, I knew that my life was always gonna be different just because of always having to go into doctor appointments and having my eighth at school and just how CP affects me. But for the most part, I had a pretty normal childhood, a pretty normal childhood. I cannot say that word. But yeah, I feel like I had a pretty no more childhood except for the whole school thing or the eighth thing. And kids were not mean to me, luckily, at school. They were more curious. And then once I like educated them on it, um, they understood a little bit more, or at least as much as they could. But that was the good thing about like the school and the school system. I, was that because I was able to like say like no I am this is why I'm in my wheelchair and stuff like that so yeah um anything else yeah and I guess because I could talk and like take norm the normal classes that you guys that you guys took they could like um and they saw that it was more physical for me and not mental. So that always helped. Question number four is, how has cerebral palsy impacted your life? Well, it has impacted a, a, a lot of my life because, you know, I can't walk. Can't read, can't write, but um, yes. So it it really has. Even if my siblings, my siblings are part of it, and um, siblings are part of my life, and like that has impacted their life. So yeah, it has impacted a huge majority of my life because I'm not. I just do things different, but it impacts every um every little thing I do. It impacts like the way I talk, the way I eat. So if that answers the question, I think oh yeah, and obviously I'm not going to college because that would be too hard for my mom. Mom and I used to have to work on four and four hours of homework. 
and nobody is, I do not want my mom to go to college. So because of all that, it's impacted a lot of my life. Just because of all my challenges I have. But I'm pretty positive and I'm glad I have the capability of talking to you guys or talking to my family pretty normally. Or, yeah, pretty normal. So, gotta keep it going. Okay, number five. Do you ever think about what your life would be like without cerebral palsy or CP? Whatever you want to call it. So yes, I do. And I am not saying that to me. I try not to think about it too much because I feel like that will just deter me from like moving on and moving forward. But I am so thankful to have like, cause I feel like I want to be as, I would be almost like a completely different person without CP, but I am so thankful for all the people that have got to me, like all my, um, all my teachers that pushed me through school, all my aides, all my therapists, all my doctors, oh my God, all my doctors. I'm just so thankful for everybody that has, uh, has been put in my path to help my parents and me with my journey with cerebral palsy. So, we are on question six. How was schooling with um, CP? And I'm gonna try to keep this really brief because we have a I have a whole um, series about school on my channel. So you guys can go um, look into that if you want more explanation. So some buildings were great and then some buildings were not so great. But as far as the kids, they were all really nice. Um, really nice to me and like understood me because most of the kids I've been going to school with since elementary so that's all I'm gonna say about that question number seven how does your dis how has your disability changed through your life well, the good thing about cerebral palsy, or CP, is it doesn't change. Mostly, what affects you in the beginning, like it does not get worse. It stays stagnant, and of course you can always be, or you can work towards like being stronger, or um, or building up your muscles or um, supination, which is like tur the turning of your hand. Um, yeah, CP hasn't really affected me, or affect, change the, how it affects me, it hasn't changed through my life, which is the, one of the perks with having diagnosis CP. It's better than like a muscular dystrophy family. Because in that family, your muscles kind of get weaker as you get older. So, or when you're diagnosed with that. So, yeah. Number eight. How will things change for people with disabilities? Well, first of all, I think with technology nowadays, um, it's become more easy to get things done and like being a YouTuber YouTuber is more widely accepted for a job. Being born in 
today's day and age and having the technology I have and all the social media it has made my life a lot easier and um yeah number nine is if you believe in god i don't know if i should skip this one okay morning this um this question has to do with my or your belief system or like if you or your religious beliefs warning i will um so if you're not very religious, please you can fast forward through this part if you want, or whatever, or skip this question. If you believe in God, how has they helped you with CP? Um, I really do believe that. God gave this to me for a reason. I will not know that reason until I'm no, no longer. I will not know that reason until I'm no longer here. But um, so I do believe in. I do believe in God, and I do believe He gave me um. This for uh, my CP for a reason, knowing that God has a purpose for me. And that has really helped me get through like all my difficult surgeries because I do not like surgeries. So yeah, and God, God has helped me through my difficult times. So number 10, and this is my final question. If there was a pill slash cure or cure for cerebral palsy, would I take it? Yes. And it's not because I don't like having cerebral palsy. Like I said before, CP has given me a um, um, different perspective on life. And um, it has allowed me to meet people I would not have met. Um, and I really do... Um, think I have a different outlook because of CP, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't like to or not have it because I feel like just, um, I need assistance to going to the bat or like going, using the restroom. I need, I can't itch myself. I mean, all the, all the little things um, that, you, that typical people take for granted, or, yeah, take for granted, I wouldn't like to have it, so, yes, I will, I would take a pill, or, or just slash cure. If it made me worse off than I already am, I don't know what I would do. But if it made me better, not stagnant, but if it made my CP go away, then yes, I would take it. So, enough of my story um thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time bye